One of the advantages to producing music with a computer is that the whole song is laid out right before your eyes. This representation makes it extremely easy to jump to a specific part of a song, start playback, quickly return to the beginning, or continuously repeat a section. Logic offers many ways to navigate your project. In the following two exercises, you will use the transport buttons and their key commands, and you will learn how to continuously repeat a section of a project. When you're producing music, time is of the essence. Because many producing tasks are repetitive, you may find yourself playing, stopping and positioning the playhead every few seconds. Minimising the time it takes to perform these basic operations will greatly improve your workflow and save valuable time. Although you may initially find it easier to click transport buttons with the mouse, moving a mouse with your hand while keeping your eye on the screen is actually a time-consuming task. Using key commands to control playback can significantly reduce that time, increasing your workflow efficiency as your fingers build up muscle memory. To fully master key commands, you first need to understand key focus, which determines the pane of the main window that will respond to key commands. To start this exercise, you will preview an Apple loop to make sure your loop browser has key focus. So I'm going to press O on the keyboard, or I can of course click my loop browser, and you'll notice there's this blue box around the outside. That's to uh, denote key focus. So now if I press the space bar, this deep end echo piano will play because it has key focus. If I press my tab button on my keyboard, you can see that I'm toggling between the two key focus windows. And now if I press I toggle to my workspace and press space bar, that has key focus. So the space bar now plays the loop in the tracks area. If the loop browser is closed, then and let's say the mixer is open, then again you're toggling between two different key focus um, windows. And when there's no key focus shown, it means that the tracks area has the um, the key commands. We begin by looking at transport controls. So here we have rewind, fast forward. We have go to beginning and play. When I press play and then stop, the stop function turns to the go to beginning function, record and loop. Let's look at those functions as key commands. So if I press my space bar, the track will start. And if I press the space bar again, the track will stop. The track doesn't go back to the beginning, it stops at the point where I press the space bar. So if I press the space bar again, it'll start from that point. If I press my enter key or return key, I'll go back to the beginning of the track. If I want to now fast forward and rewind, I can use the forward and back arrows on my keyboard, which are otherwise denoted as comma and full stop, just on the right hand side of the space bar. And if I click those, my track, uh, my playhead will jump forward four bars or back four bars. If I do that whilst pressing and holding shift, so I've now pressed and held down shift, it will jump eight bars. If I want to quickly set up a loop around a region, I select the region I want to loop, so I'm just going to select this loop. And if I press U on the keyboard, that will set a rounded locator by selection and enable cycle. So a rounded selection means that if, for example, the loop finished a little bit, uh, not on the bar, and now I highlight it, it will round up to the nearest bar. If I don't want that to happen, if I just want to loop this region, then I would need to go to navigate and I've set the rounded locators by selection and enable cycle, but if I set locators by selection and enable cycle it will then make the cycle region the same length as the loop let's just take this a stage further if i go to my loop browser and search for a loop called skyline base and drag it in let's drag it into there and make that rounded again if i now select the two of those so i click and hold and draw a box around the two of them and press u 
you'll see now that my loop is enabled for all of the area that's selected. If I now just select that region and then go U, it will then just select uh, the, the region that's highlighted. There are three main ways to loop a region. One is to select it and press L on the keyboard. That will then loop all the way to the end of the project, which by default goes to bar 129. I can also click the loop function in the inspector. So I turn the inspector on and under region, there's a function called loop. So I click that and it will do the same thing. Or I could just navigate to the top of the loop and I can draw out the uh, loop for as long as I want it to loop for. And as you can see, what it's doing is it's creating aliases of this for this loop here. You can see that these are slightly darker, demonstrating that they're copies of this first region here. That we call them aliases. If I press X on my keyboard, that'll bring up the mixer. And you can see that the two tracks that I'm displaying in the tracks area are also displayed in the mixer. They actually follow the um, the layout of the mixer. So if I was to drag deep end beat down and swap it with skyline bass, you can see that also updates in the mixer, making it easier for you to navigate the two windows together. Zooming in to edit regions is also an essential part of your workflow. In Logic up here on the top right, we have horizontal and vertical zoom. Another way to do it, I'm using a laptop now and I have a trackpad and if I press and hold option, I can zoom by just using my trackpad to zoom. Of course, another way to do it is to press T to bring up your toolbox and use the zoom function. So you can see now my pointer is now my zoom tool and I can zoom, let's draw a box around areas to zoom. Now if I press option and click with my zoom tool, it goes back to the previous zoom level. So I just do that again. If I zoom once or twice and I press and hold option and I click once, it goes back to the previous zoom level and I click again, it goes to the zoom level before that. And another way to do it is by using your hidden tool. So your hidden tool is your third tool. So you have one, two, and then you have a third tool and mine is a zoom function. And if I press and hold control and option, that brings up my zoom tool. So there's the function over here, horizontal and vertical zoom. There's the tool, the zoom tool in your toolbox. And you can bring that up here, or you can also press T on your keyboard to bring up your zoom tool. Or you can click and hold control and option. And assuming that your third tool is set to a zoom tool, you can you can zoom using that tool and like i said if you press option and click it'll go back to the previous zoom level i'm going to continue to build the track i'm going to start by actually resizing this drum loop so we've already talked about looping but i'm going to resize it so that it's two bars long and the way that i do that is rather than select the top i select the bottom i get my resize tool and now i can resize it to two bars and i can then loop it and you'll see that I'm now looping two bars. And I'm going to also do the same to the Skyline Bass. So I position the Skyline Bass to come in after two bars. So I'm going to loop that as well. I'm going to loop that for four bars. Drag the drums out as well. I can add additional elements to it. And you'll notice that as I bring these elements in, I start to build the arrange. And I can continue to do that. All of these now, all the volumes are all the same. So the volume's at zero and the pan is center. But if I wanted to, I can make certain elements quieter and louder. I'm going to copy that, but I'm going to hold down. I'm, this time I'm copying region by holding down option. You can see you get the plus sign, so I can create a gap in between. Obviously, you can't do that when you loop, but if you copy with option. 
Going back to what I was saying, so all the volumes are the same, so I can make elements quieter and louder. So I'm going to select the um, barricade arpeggio and click U. I can make that quieter. And I can also pan elements left and right. 